eight nights, eight faces of evil. Join us as we continue our journey towards our most daring and dangerous Halloween Live ever. Welcome to the magnificent and atmospheric Morecambe Winter Gardens, our base for this most haunted live investigation. Tonight is our third night hunting down some of the most terrifying and villainous faces of local history. Our intention is to summon eight of the area's most evil characters, possibly unveiling their physical identities as we race towards our deadline of Halloween. Voices from the ether, tragic loss of love in wartime England and paranormal activity hiding within modern day technology are just some of the areas up for investigation tonight as we attempt to uncover the third face of evil. On Saturday, we unveiled the beast. Last night, we confronted the butcher. Whose face will we find tonight? Before I divulge any more, let me introduce the two gentlemen guiding you through this evening. Mr. Paul Ross and Julian Clegg. The last night in particular, absolutely astounded because I've never heard such clear sound that we got last night. 16 taps, we could hear it as clear as a bell. It was incredible. Very, very loud. And what about you, Julie? Was everybody hearing it at home as well? Yes, there's lots of reaction on, on the webcams again and lots of reaction on stories about the Winter Gardens, interestingly. And of course, you've put me on the haunted side of the stage. I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, Paul, what are we up to tonight? Well, as you'd expect, it's going to be an amazing night after an astounding start. And if you're wondering, how can they possibly follow last night? If that's the question, here is the answer. Here is just some of what might be in store for Yvette and the team tonight. I thought I heard something and I just thought it must be something outside. No, I'm just like standing right here. What, was it a door? Um, yeah. It was just like dirt. And it was like either walking that way or something. It's actually a paranormal investigation first. This has never been done before to use ultrasound and attempt to communicate with spirit. So it is going to be an amazing night where science meets psychic gifts and the people who are in pole position on this paranormal journey are here now. We've got them. I know you love them. Carl Beach and Yvette Fielding! <laughs> Some unkind people have said, Carl, we've had the beast and the butcher. Tonight it might be the beatty. <laughs> We're not having that, are we? And before we talk about last night, let me say, as I know you're friends, I've been to your parties, you've been to my place, we've had great times together. I know you're not always, Yvette, shouting for dead murderers to come and <laughs> flick you in the tip. Oh, I don't know. Occasionally, you have some fun. Take a look at this, folks. I don't know what Carl's going to get up to whilst I'm away. I haven't a clue. Normally, he sees it as a good time to kind of go and buy things. Boys, toys, and things like that. I never thought I'd miss you half as much as I I'm missing Carl terribly, really bad. I always miss Carl and the kids terribly. Hello, Mum! <laughs> Can I buy another car? No, you can't buy another oh, car. Oh, come on, it's really. beautiful. We have six cars. We are not. If you get another car, I mean it, Carl. Don't be silly. As soon as I wake up every night. I bought something. I don't even like Porsches. It must be love, love, love. It must be love, love, love. What's that? That's 
um, Mandy's car. Are you having a laugh? Why don't we get your bags out and go into the house? Are you serious? Is this your new car? <laughs> yeah. I asked you, I said to you, why? When I said to you on the phone, don't get a car. You promised me that you wouldn't get a car. Let me think. Don't, no, 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 don't, no, 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 don't turn this no, round. No, honestly, no. I asked you not to get a car and you've got I'd a car. I'd already bought it at that point. Don't, I'd already bought don't it. Don't speak to me. <laughs> I'm not clear on is who was that horrible brunette who was shouting at you? <laughs> I have no idea. I got rid of her and got her. That is a great show. I've seen about 10 minutes of it. It's on Wednesday week, November the 4th, on Livy. It's, you've got to check the uh, listings for details. It's a fantastic show. And it's the night after the return of Most Haunted on Livy at 9 o'clock. Yeah. So you have an amazingly busy summer and a fantastic night last night. And I said at the top of the show, I have never heard such amazing sound phenomena as we had last night. It was fantastic. I've heard it um, similar, if not louder, at Lincoln Prison. Um, and that was really quite frightening. Um, so it, it seems to be sort of, I don't know, in my experience, prisons, um, jails, um, courts, you seem to get really strong activity. And uh, I, loved, I love it when, you know, Nick Keane had never heard that before. And our audience member, um, Cherry, she was absolutely, couldn't believe it. It was just like, wow, I've never heard this before. And everybody's looking at everybody's feet and everybody can see everybody else. And, you know, and somebody's not banging away. And it's fabulous. And I was talking to Brian Shepard and Chris Robinson, of course, the new team member, our dream doctor. And Chris was saying to me that actually, of course, in a place like a prison, you get almost like a clenched fist of misery and emotion. Mm -hmm. And it can be from any stage in the prison's history. And I suppose that's what you're all sensing. Because it's very chilly last night it was it was extremely chilling I mean, prisons always have that because it's fairly emotive anyway um, uh, being in a prison but when you're in these cells or when you're in, in a courtroom and because you think the emotions that must have gone on I mean people even, even the innocent that were, were that were found guilty and maybe have been hung even though they were innocent and then maybe years later found uh, found that they were innocent but th there's this huge emotion there and it's such a scary place because you sit in there and you think people spend a lot of time here and sometimes this was the last place they sat before they were sent off to be hung. That is a really scary thought. Mm. And it was an amazing last night, like, like last night. And it kicked off at a house in Lancaster, the scene of two hideous double murders mm. where bodies were dismembered. It happened in 1935, and that was just the beginning of the journey. Here's what happened last night, just some of it. As I say, the people that... Oh, he strangled her. And, he's, and he's, he's, he's quite happy with the fact that he's cut her up. You're a murderer, aren't you? You were jealous. Yes. You yeah. pathetic, jealous yes. man. Yes. Oh, 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 my God. God. Jesus! Oh, I, I, I mean, I also felt like I was moving down the tonight, right. now. You all right, Carl? I'm going to throw up. No, no, you won't. <gasps> Doctor, yes, they've, they've, they've hung them. 1936. Oh. 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 There's something in there. I should say, of course, the cells, the court area have been completely locked down and those sounds were coming from empty cells and from behind doors where we knew there were no crew members. It was an astonishing night. It really was and that's something that we've, um, we've kind of always done. Um, we've sort of made sure that all the doors are locked, no one can come in, no one can get out and so on. But we sort of thought we'd really implement it on, on this particular live. Um, and especially here, you know, in this haunted theatre, very haunted theatre, may I say, for the audience. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's really important to make sure that you know, everybody knows exactly who is where, everyone is accounted for. Um, any paranormal investigation, some people wear high-vis jackets so you know exactly who, who is who and so on. So it's, it was really important that we, that we made that happen. And we're starting here tonight again, the vigil of the investigation starts here in Carl, and I know you're really keen for anyone here tonight in the Winter Gardens in Morecambe who feels anything to let us know. Yeah. Plenty of people around. Yeah, I mean, th this is, you are basically, everyone in this audience, you are part of this 
not just the most haunted live by being an audience, you're part of a vigil tonight, and, and the vigil continues when we've gone uh, to, to, to where we're going next. And you guys, if you feel anything, you hear anything, you see anything, please, please, please let anyone around you know, and certainly some of the guys that are walking around, just put your hand up and let them know, because 